Under the watchful eye of Farhad Moshiri, Everton took significant steps backward many years ago. His acquisition of a 49.9% stake in 2016 was met with great celebration, as it was finally poised to provide the much-needed injection of cash to take the Toffees to the next level. With a stable foundation built by David Moyes and Roberto Martinez, showing what could be achieved with a bit of positivity, seemingly every decision made after that moment was wrong. And now, with 7777 partners seemingly poised to finally usurp Mashiri, we've been exclusively informed that the end is in sight. But it's not positive for Josh Wander. Graham Bailey provides an update on Everton's acquisition. Journalist Graham Bailey, who exclusively provided the following update on the protracted acquisition process. And while many media outlets have reported that 777 partners' efforts remain under threat, this latest assertion seeks to further diminish the likelihood. He noted the following. Obviously, the other situation, even if the acquisition were to go through, they might have to sell. But it's increasingly likely that, um, from what I've been told, the acquisition by 77 partners won't happen. I've been told this from the outset. I've been told it's very, very unlikely. I think there are other interested parties, but what happens with the debt and whether it gets passed on to other people, then Everton owes the money that 777 is using. It's a fascinating situation. Well, fascinating is really the wrong word. A scary situation, said journalist Graham Bailey. Well, this shouldn't surprise most Evertonians who have witnessed the ongoing collapse of their takeover bid in recent months. By striking a deal with Moshiri in September, some alarms instantly sounded. These investigative journalists then began convincing everyone else that their concerns were well-founded, but the Iranian businessman is still determined to them. Even the Premier League, which holds the predominant vote in this specific field, seems too scared to simply quash his bid and move on to the next interested party. But this assertion by Bailey is a double-edged sword for the Miami-based firm, not only being informed that their acquisition is in doubt, but also that other parties remain interested. The debt they've piled onto Everton will pose a significant hurdle for most, but with alternative reports referencing Qatar's interests, such fortune won't be deterred for long. Whoever eventually comes into power, we can only hope they have some sort of long-term strategy to once again turn Everton into a stable, sustainable, and profitable business. Like and share this video with your friends.